just read the damn book. Normally in my introductions, I like to have a compelling reason for you to consider to change to my point of view, or at least urge you to consider watching the whole video. But today I'm simply going to say, read the damn book. Hi, I'm Leah and welcome to Hide and Seek and welcome to my review of Terra Nullius by Claire G. Coleman, a speculative fiction set in an imagined immediately close and near future. Now Claire G. Coleman identifies as a Noongar woman from the southwest of Australia and it is this reimagined colonization story that is simultaneously familiar yet strangely alien. Throughout the first half of the novel Claire G. Coleman portrays a sense of familiarity, a sense of, that resonates through the historical education given here in Australia, until about halfway through when she pulls the rug out from beneath us and twists the story into an imagined and strangely compelling way. I was torn between wanting to devour this book in just over a day because of its taut, tight language, yet at the same time wanting to prolong and savour the experience for the compelling stories, the intricate characters, the imagined and exciting new way of thinking. I found this book to be a fascinating insight into changing the perception of colonisation here in Australia. And it was those references to the historical past that made the alien future seem so familiar. I don't really want to say any more because it will give away the punchline of this story, but I really urge anybody who is interested in speculative fiction, who's interested in an own voice science fiction story, who's interested in diverse authors and hear an Indigenous Australian voice that is not heard outside of Australia. I do understand this book is being published in the US in the very near future and I strongly urge anyone who has access to consider reading this book. But I thought Terra Nullius was amazing. It is a book that I initially just rated four stars, but a week and a half after finishing it, I'm still thinking about it, still going, oh my goodness. And I'm really just considering bumping it up to five stars. So if you want an urgent, familiar, yet strangely compelling speculative fiction written by a woman, written by an Australian Indigenous woman, this is an amazing book. So, a random book today, but thank you for watching and have a fabulous day.